All right, we are doing this today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica, the Dancing Ava Lady. And today, as per requested, we are trying a black lipstick. Let's do this. So today, guys, I am trying out a few different black lipstick looks. Um, I was requested by the wonderful Pam uh, that I try out Thunder, which is part of the FMG Glimmer Satin Lipstick line. I actually already own several lipsticks uh, in this particular what would I call it, particular line, um, just in different shades. I love this line. It wears so beautifully. It's very comfortable. It has a satin finish, as stated in the name of the product, of course. And what I love about it, it is formulated with pomegranate um, extract so that it has antioxidant benefits, all good stuff. Now, Today's isn't about the benefits of the lipstick. Today is just about playing with makeup. So I am going to try three to maybe five different looks with this Thunder lipstick. I haven't even opened up yet, but um, we're just going to give it a whirl and give it a go. Let's open this baby up. And we're going to do first do a swatch. I am nervous. I've never worn black lip. Actually, no, that's a lie. I wore black lipstick one time when I was playing a evil witch character in a ballet production I was part of. That was like my favorite, favorite character to play. It was amazing. I was like this horrible, evil, jealous witch. Anyways, it was a whole night digression and it was a lifetime and a half ago. All right, so here it is. You've seen this packaging before because I've done a couple of product reviews on this one here. And so this one is, is called Thunder. For this particular shade, guys, there are 20 different shades available. Anything from the lightest, like a very nice, like, neutral color, very nice, like, pink color, all the way to this beautiful black. So let's open this up. Wow, this is going to be epic. I am excited. Check this out. It is a very soft, lightweight lipstick, and it is a, uh, like a medium to full coverage, depending on how you layer it. What I do have on my lips right now, and what I tend to do, is I have a, like a moisturizing lip balm on my lip to kind of condition my lips. Now, if you are going to use a stain or anything, you're going to want to make sure it's completely off, because if not, the stain won't last, because it hasn't been able to absorb directly to your skin. So I'm going to wipe off first. Now, to prepare for today... And I did have lipstick on earlier, so that's why my lips are a little bit pinky and stained. To prepare for today, I do have this waterproof lip and eye makeup remover from the face shop. It is, as you can see, a very well-loved product. It is. It works really, really, really well, and it smells lovely, and I have some cotton pads. I was going to use my reusable ones, but then I thought that, you know what? <laughs> If it doesn't come out, I'm stuck with black bamboo bamboo makeup removers, which would be not the most appealing thing to look at. All right, shall we do a swatch on this first? I guess so. I guess we really should. Here we go. All right. So here's a... Ooh, I love how creamy it is. I still love how creamy this is. All right. So it is pure black. There's no blue, it doesn't look like there's any blue, any green, any purple in it. It is just black lipstick. So what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to do the look just as is, and then I'm going to play with a couple of different colors. So here we go. Look number one. <laughs> this would be perfect for Halloween. I already look like a kitty cat. It makes the outline of my lips look very, very, very red. All right, what do you guys think? So, I would probably suggest to use a um, use a lip brush. But the other thing with this, it's really accentuating any redness on my lip that I have. So, if I was going to do this look, what I would probably end up doing is really cleaning up the lines with some concealer. So I would probably use the Magic Wand because it is a heavier, like a like a thicker coverage to be pretty much, and I would just clean it up. Yeah, I, I yeah. Or the other thing I might do is I might actually put concealer all over my lip, set it with some powder, like just a very light dusting of translucent powder, and then just use it like that so that you don't see this now the other thing is is because 
of the I don't know how to get or, get around this. Uh, like in here, we'll call up the butt of my lip. It very much accentuates that part. And I thought I already went to the inner quarters, but you know, I'm gonna try it a little bit more. Yeah, I guess I got big lips. I don't think my children will kiss me with this. And here it is, ready? <laughs> So this is look number one. Would it be my go-to look? Most likely not. So now let's see how to make it work. I think it's just a little bit on the too extreme side for me at this time of my life. Now there's people I've seen, black lipstick, oh my gosh, they look so good, like so good. I just might not be one of them, but it's fun. Now before we take it off, I'm actually what I want to try to do is I want to add a li little clear gloss on top of it. So this is the Minted Apple Crave Lip Gloss. Oh my god, every time I smell this, I'm just super duper happy. It makes me so happy and it's just such a fun product. This one doesn't really have much color, but it has this like really nice minty freshness to it and it's... This smells so good. These are flavored lip gloss. Uh, li uh, yeah, they're flavored lip glosses. And so the strawberry one's like super duper popular. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're just gonna take a little bit of this beautiful green gloss and tap in the middle of the lips. Okay, interesting. So this gives it a little bit more of a dimension. Now I just look like I have wet black shaded lips. Do I like this more? Maybe. So I was doing a little poking around on online to try to get some uh, some inspiration. And I think a lot of it is just owning it. Really, really owning it. No, I think I do like this better. Yeah, I do like this better. So this is look number two. Let's play with it a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it all off. Let me see if it stains my lips. Oh my God. Oh, it doesn't. Oh. I'm so grateful. It doesn't really stay my lips, which is great. It's kind of like I had a lot of black sesame ice cream. Have you ever had black sesame ice cream? It's delicious. You think there's nothing on there? But there really is. Next, what we're going to do. So we're going to go back to the black. And we are going to pair it with this, the Glimmer Kiss Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in Sand Opal. I also have it in this one here, which is the Violet Sapphire. And there's also a red one. I think it's called like Ruby Red or something like that, or Ruby Kiss. And so, I don't know, I wanna try them all now. Now I'm curious. Anyways, we're gonna try it first off with the Sand Opal. All right, so we have the black back on. It really accentuates any redness that you have. So, I mean, it would be like super full coverage makeup for me, which I don't typically do. So this is Sand Opal. It's a beautiful color. It's a like a, it is a liquid lipstick, so it's full of coverage, so it's not a lip gloss. So you should be able to see it a bit more. Ah. Oh, 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 interesting. Ooh. All right, so this is look number three. Gives it almost like a so oddly, even though it's like a peachy gold, it gives it almost like a silvery finish. All right, look three, guys. This is actually kind of cool looking for a nice fall look. Or Halloween. I think I'm gonna like it with this. So now I'm just gonna add this on top. This is the still the Glimmer Kiss, but this is with the Violet. <gasps> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, this one I'm really excited about. <gasps> Ooh, this one I really like. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's very intense, very dramatic for sure. This one is gorgeous. Whoa! So this is look number four. This one I really, 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 really like. Yeah. Yeah! Except for when I open my mouth, then you see the butt. 
It's really pretty. Okay, this one I really like. All right, let's take it all off and now let's try pairing it with some traditional lipsticks in the same line with a couple different shades. Next, we're going to try, and what I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually going to put on the li lighter lipstick first and then I'm going to contour with the, with the thunder. Let's try, because we just did like a purpley color. So why don't we go super extreme? So this is probably one of my lighter nudes that I have. So we're gonna use this one first. So very close to my natural lip color. Now it looks so light good in comparison, oh my goodness. And then, for look number five. This look, wow, I'm already at look number five. All right, got some got some work to do here. Now let's, so this is the Sierra Sunset mixed with Thunder. Just right here that needs a little bit of attention. Not bad. It almost makes it into a bit of a mauve. Oh, that's not bad at all. Very comfortable wear. So this actually is a much more natural look. It almost turns it into like a mauvey shade, which actually kind of matches my shirt. I would do this one again. Just took a little bit more blending. And it's very, very little of the, of the black, of the thunder. But it turned out to be a really pretty shade. All right, let's go to the next look. All right, for the next look, I'm going to use this color here. This is called Blaze. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna to try to highlight the tops a little bit more and then just do a little bit more of the black down here. Yeah, let's see what that will look like. So this is look number six. Okay, so nice, beautiful, bright shade. And now we're going to mix it with some thunder. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do some blending. Okay, so this is one look. Now, didn't quite turn out the way I thought, so I'm going to finish the top part because it just looks incomplete to me right now. It's interesting. Yeah, I think I need a little bit of the black on the top to finish it. Yeah, so much better. I just keep layering and layering and layering. I'm gonna leave that one like that because I think I'm just making a bigger mess. In my brain, it worked out a little bit better, but that's the thing, guys. That's the beauty of makeup is that you can just wash your face and move on. I definitely think I can execute this one a little bit better. I will try this one again sometime. Final one I'm gonna do for today is, well, I'm gonna do this deep purple and let's see what we can do with it. I might even throw in a third one, like a third layer of a product, but let's have some fun. Yeah. For this one, I'm going to actually start by covering my lips. And the powder that I'm using is the Cashmere Complexion. This shade is an N120. It's the Compact Powder Foundation. Love this stuff. Like, I never usually wear so much powder, and I don't wear a lot of powder. This has lasted me since I started the review video probably over a year ago. It's a really great product. And now I'm going to do this purple. So this is the shade Night Violet beautiful color this one is so pretty and now let's take the thunder and i think this one will go really well for a really deep dramatic look yeah like it just goes so nice together this is super pretty this one i really like so it has that drama but i feel like it just it's not as stark as just the pure black and this look look number seven i also insanely insanely like if i'm going to use the black lipstick so once again this is Thunder mixed with Night Violet. But what I am going to do is to give it even a little bit more of a, I'm just gonna add a little dash of this minted apple. Just on the center of the lips to accentuate that purple. Oh my God. Hello, yes please, thank you very much. In conclusion, can I wear black lipstick? I guess I can. I just have to mix it for my own comfort level. I have to mix it a bit. So this final, final, final look, I guess it's a bonus. Another bonus look is look number eight. It's mixed with these three. The power of a lip gloss. Night Violet, Thunder, Mint Apple Crave. All right, so let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think? What was your favorite look out of the eight looks that we had today? Did you like the 
the look in the most simplest form where it was just pure black or did you like it when I mixed it with different things and out of those ones guys which mix did you like the most if there's any other Avon products that you do want me to try make sure you do leave me a comment and I'll do my very best to make it happen there are a couple of things I know I have some sensitivities to that if you do request and I still can't use it then unfortunately I can't use it but I will always try if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up and if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification if you're looking for my business tips videos all about entrepreneurial life and work from home life especially with as uh, you know a working from home mom make sure you do jump over to my other channel passions to paycheck with jessica yik it's a brand new channel it's still in its infancy form so would love your support over there if you want to learn more about my family life make sure you also check out yik's rs which is my family life channel i haven't done a lot on that channel lately because i've been so busy but that's okay anyways thank you so much for the suggestion to try out this uh lipstick in thunder lots and lots and lots of fun to do if you want to get one for yourself guys make sure you do go to the description box down below and uh, check out that link and check out all 20 shades that are available to you and if you do end up trying it make sure you do tag me on either instagram or facebook so i can see your look and see your gorgeous face all right guys i love you i'll see you guys in the next one bye